This collection isn't just significant to the region. This is important to our country. Not only is this a mental health focused collection, it's situated in its original housing, in its original complex, in the original buildings, and the comprehensive nature of the collection itself. There isn't another like this in, in, in Australia. I suspect most of the Darling Downs community does not know a great deal about the rich history of health services here. I spent a good deal of time beginning to explore through the history of health services in this community and found it was fascinating and rich. Toowoomba has made its mark, Toowoomba and the surrounding rural communities in Australia and nationally in health services. I think that Toowoomba is a regional hub for healthcare. It started from a like a community background and it has developed into a sort of national, internationally prestigious sort of health service. And I think that the collection documents that very well, both from the Toowoomba Hospital collection and the Bailey Henderson collection. So if we lose that, then we're losing a very invaluable um, documentation of the development of healthcare generally across the state as well, because a lot of the things that happened here were also happening in other parts of Queensland and Australia. And being a paper conservator, I was very drawn to some of the documentary material. So the collection contains Superintendent Hogg, who was actually the first superintendent of the hospital. We actually have his case notes in the collection, so that's an incredible resource. But there's also the physical material, so we have the shoes that were made and the clothing that was made as well, so that just marries in beautifully. As a result of my interest in talking about it, more and more people just came out of the woodwork and said, did you know about, or would you like to have this? And they would produce some old artefact. So it, it gradually developed over that period of time. And I think um, through my association with the, with the foundation, we began to talk about the concept of a, a museum committee um, to oversee the, the development of this collection and the rest is history. Medical Superintendent's residence is a beautiful old facility in its own right, worthy of restoration. It's an absolutely ideal location in which to base a museum. The building itself speaks history. There's a lot of stories associated with that building. It'll be an absolutely ideal site in an ideal location for, um, for our museum. I'm hoping that we'll have a museum which will be the place that Toowoomba residents want to attend regularly. That in itself, I think, will build culture, pride in our community, um, and better understanding of how we come to be where we are now. It's important in terms of our future, of public health measures, understanding what needs to be done, um, that we understand where we've come from. And also that we are able to interpret the collection effectively so that we can share the stories, you know, let those patients have a voice again. So my hope is that when our successors come around the corner and put their hand up, we have a functioning professional museum that Toowoomba is proud of to pass to them. And my hope is that the community will join us in that endeavour. Join us on that journey to see our history preserved.